Today is something to tinker with from KBYP. There's RG58, so called coax connector on each end. Not a big deal. That's about, I don't know, 70 foot worth I, or 50, whatever. We can't get inside this to measure anything. Just the act of cutting it open will destroy the match, will cause a reflection. So it is impossible to measure SWR, standing wave ratio, on this. Back in the day with twin lead, it was fairly easy because both conductors are exposed. So this would have to be cut in two. That makes a total reflection. Reconnected with wires, which makes a big reflection. And then measuring equipment put, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> at two places in the line. In the old days, they'd put up a, an indicator with a loop and a bulb, and then move it to find a peak in the voltage by peak brightness of the bulb here, and then move it the other way to find peak there, and that indicates a, the wave time or wavelength. Impossible with this unless maybe you get really, really leaky cable. So, in a previous video, I made the not correct statement that it's impossible to do this. Uh, it's impossible to make an open line that's 50 ohms. Well, that's not true. There's an exception. It's impossible to make twin lead at 50 ohms. The dimensions are all wrong. But if we go into the microwave world, <clears throat> we can make a micro strip line. And that's this. And this is 50 ohms. And that is a copper sheet here. Um, polystyrene, I think it is. And a strip of copper tape. And that is a 50 ohm transmission line, but it's open. That would allow going here and measuring from here to there with a high resistance input oscilloscope. Can't do it with a 50 ohm scope that will load the line. Or maybe a high resistance diode detector. And that would allow measuring the line voltage on a working transmission line along this path. This is three feet long. Well, that's nowhere near a wavelength for, for HF. It's only three feet. That's, that, doesn't, that, that doesn't prevent us from doing it. There's a, a calculator on the Pasternak website. That's what I use to make this. A couple of interesting things about this. This is a good way to learn, especially if you have a TDR, about discontinuities and reflections where that cable is cut open and soldered there's a significant reflected pulse from there that's a discontinuity it's an impedance well i hate to say that word but it's a mismatch in the wave propagation it's not impedance so energy coming up that cable is partly reflected at this joint and the same on the other end that goes to show why any break or sharp bend in the line or connectors or switches are bad. Which is why I minimize them here. They cause reflections. The other thing is learning how to measure SWR with this if it's not a wavelength long. It doesn't have to be. Measure the voltage on one end. Measure the voltage at some distance later. Assume it's a sine wave. You know the frequency figure what portion of a cycle in degrees that distance is and use that information to calculate the SWR. The really useful thing about this is, is that it can be made most any size. It could be made that wide or maybe an inch wide by scaling down all these sizes. And the trick to do that with 
so-called printed circuit board, the 063 fiberglass board, is to cut a strip with one side copper coated that's a quarter inch wide by 063 thick and super glue that down to a larger piece of board with a considerably larger plane and that's 50 ohms and that's very easy to make. What that will let you do is make a reflected power indicator that's put permanently at the feed point of an antenna and with uh, some good RF chokes that voltage can be sent back down the transmission line and that will let you um, work on <clears throat> a dipole at significant height or maybe a Yagi or something and be able to measure for reflective power right at the feed point and not through this myth of doing it at the, at the transmitter end because unless the line <clears throat> in theory is exactly a wavelength long then the conditions at the antenna and transmitter won't be the same so look up the micro strip line calculator on the Pasternak site and try building this. KBYP did it.